Hello guys, my name is Amir Khan. Welcome to Pentesting Amazon Web Services Day 2. In this session, we are going to complete our lab setup. This is going to be a last session in the lab setup. We are going to create our AWS IAM user account for CloudGoat. We are going to set up CloudGoat and install pip. We are going to install Terraform, AWS CLI and we'll set up a profile for AWS CloudGoat as well as AWS CLI. So let's get started. Creating AWS IAM user for CloudGoat. Uh, this is pretty simple. So uh, you need to go to the services, then create, uh, click on IAM, give it a minute to open up, then click on users, then click on add user, and give a username to your user. So I'm going to give CloudGoat, and here we need to give only programmatic access since uh, CloudGoat or AWS CLI is not going to log in using console. You need to attach existing policies and give the user administrator access permission. Then click on next. And next and create user. So we have our cloud good user ready. Here's a summary of what we just did. And we also have our CSV file ready with the access key and the secret key. We are going to need, need these keys as we move along with this series and also this video. So click on close and you can see the cloud code user has been created. Now let's set up cloud code and PIP. So this is the Rhino Security Labs GitHub re repository and let's scroll down and see what we have here. So I am sure they have given the instructions to how to install this software. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into the terminal and click enter. So you can see I, uh, I'm going to face one error here. So you might also face the exactly same error and I did not have the mood to troubleshoot. So I came up with another way. So just scroll up and copy uh, the repo address from here and replace it uh, with the existing one. So just paste it here, press Control shift v or Command shift v if you're on Mac, give it a minute to install and it's done. So I've cleared this up and let's move ahead and update our system first. So make sure you, you have your Kali Linux updated. If you have not updated your Kali Linux, it is not going to install pip, you are going to face a lot of issues and you are going to have to browse internet at ultra fast speed and go through the solutions. So better just update it, have the packages updated like I have done now. Now let's clear this up and install pip finally. So the command is apt-get install python-pip. Press enter. So this is going to take another minute and three, three and a half MB approximately of your disk size. Okay, we are done. Let's clear this up and move ahead with the CloudGo 2.0 installation. So I'm going to copy this command. I, all right, so make sure you are in the CloudGo folder. So this is the cloud code folder that got created uh, when we committed our command earlier. So I'm into the cloud code fol folder now and now I'm going to paste the command I copied. Okay, so just delete the three from the PIP and then press enter. So this is going to install the requirement for cloud code. This is going to take another minute of your time and it's done. Okay, so let's give uh, the executable permission to our cloud code Python file. So I'm gonna just copy the command from here and paste it. So this command will give permission to cloud code file to execute on our system. So let's check it by ls-l command. 
So you can see it is RWX that is read write executable. Let's move ahead and install Terraform. So I came across this uh, nice article from askubuntu.com and here is a very easy step to in how to install Terraform on your Kali Linux. So I'm just going to copy and paste the links again as we did uh, before. So this is mainly to make it user friendly for you guys and for the beginners who are facing lot of hurdles if they don't know Linux especially. So just copy paste here so you can see I already have the unzip software installed in my system and you can download the latest Terraform from here or you can just copy this command that is given below wget and the URL. So control shift V or right click and paste selection and press enter. So this is going to download a zip file in your cloud code folder. So it's not necessary that you install this in the cloud code folder. You can install it. Uh, you can download this file anywhere and later uh, move it to your user bin directory. Okay, let's see if it's downloaded. Okay, so we have the zip file here. Uh, let's unzip it. Let's clear this up first. And I'm going to unzip it now. So you can just give the unzip command type TERN plus press tab or just copy paste the command. It's going to do the exactly same thing. Let's check. Okay, so we have the Terraform folder under cloud code directory. Now let's the move let's move this uh, folder to user local bin directory. Again, copy paste the command, press enter and it's done. Now we can check the version of Terraform. Okay, so we have Terraform version 0.12.18. This is showing your version of Terraform is out of date. The latest version is 0 0.13.0. So uh, it's not necessary that uh, you have the latest version. Uh, this version 0 0.12.18 is latest enough for Cloud Go to work. So we are going to move ahead and set up AWS CLI on our system. So this is another very easy step. I'm going to give the link into the description to this page. Just click here to copy the commands. Go back to your terminal and press Control Shift V or right click and click on paste selection. So I'm going to speed this up. So this is going to take another minute uh, depending on the internet speed you have. And it is installed. Okay, so let's check uh, the version of AWS CLI that we have just installed. So it's AWS hyphen hyphen version, press enter. Okay, so we have 2.0.40 installed. And let's move ahead. So now we are going to set up Cloud Code profile. And these are just two to three commands. So it's dot forward slash cloudgood.py config profile and press enter. So would you like to create this file with a default profile name now? So I'm gonna go ahead and press Y to say yes and press enter. So you can give your default uh, name for the profile that you're going to create for the cloud code. I'm just going to give uh, cloud code and press enter. So we have created the cloud code profile default profile for uh, cloud code utility. Uh, let's move ahead and whitelist our IP addresses. So uh, let's uh, keep uh, this on auto. So every time you do not have to whitelist your IP address and it's possible if you are just using your mobile tethering or any dongle internet dongle so you don't have to do this manually so better keep it on auto so it has created whitelist.txt with my current ip address so let's clear this and let's set up aws profile so this profile is going to be uh, 
the one that we created in the start of this video the name of the IAM user will be the profile name here so AWS configure hyphen hyphen profile cloud gold and you remember uh, we downloaded the CSV file with login credentials so in this sense login credentials won't be your username and password it is going to be your access key and the secret key so I'm going to paste the access key here and the secret key using these keys AWS CLI can make modifications to your account give the default region name I'm just gonna leave it empty and press enter so we are done with setting up uh, the AWS account profile here so guys uh, that's it for this video and we have finished the lab setup from uh, from the next session onward we are going to start the enumeration of IAM user permissions and we are going to exploit uh, the AWS lab scenarios that we are going to create with cloud Goat. so uh, make sure you like subscribe this channel and also click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about the future videos every time I upload one thank you for watching you guys are awesome